You know, I could not thank you enough for attending this city, uh, this uh, city council rally uh, today. And we all know why we're here. We're here for one reason and one reason only. We're here in order to get better funding for our schools, which have been chronically underfunded for the past yeah. decade. Yeah. Yeah. This is an assembly of individuals who not only want to make a change in their community, but a change in society. This is a that will inspire change in Danbury for decades to come. Yeah. We are all here today. We are all here under the same common goal, but we each come from different backgrounds. And we all know how important school funding is, not only for us, but for the future of Danbury. So the question we must ask ourselves today here is why? Why are we going to allow our city council, our elected representatives, to continue to shaft us and take money away from our future and the future of uh, people in Danbury and the generations? about why we should do something or about the conditions in our schools because we're all doofully aware of that. Wow. All right? We need a big word over here. No paper towels. No paper towels. We don't have paper towels, that is true. You know, my is, you know Mr. Steady's classroom doesn't have desks in it, but apparently, well, apparently some people don't care about that, okay? But well, you know, job, we stand here today on the doorsteps of our city's democracy to make our voices heard, okay? This is an engine of progress. Yes. This is an engine of a movement. This is an engine of advocacy that shall span Danbury for generations to come. Yes. We stand here today as the start of a movement. Okay? This is not the end of our movement. This is only the beginning. For as long as we stand here today, as long as we go out, as long as we choose to make our futures better, our futures will become better. And you know, I'll leave you with one last thing. None of us, most of us here cannot vote. Most of us here cannot vote. We are not yet 18 or we have not registered to vote. But that does not mean that our voices cannot be heard. Voices cannot be silent. Oh, yes! And when we do turn 18, and when we do go to the ballot box, we shall know who to vote for okay. because right. we shall know who chose us over their own political ambitions. Yes! Yes!